So in this video I'm just going to show you how I groom around Wookie's eyes. The reason I do this is you get small hairs growing along the bridge of her nose and especially between her eyes that eventually curl in and, and touch the eye and irritate the eye. And I find that if you just let this hair grow out, it can typically curl around, touch the eye and irritate the eye. And then you end up with a lot of um, tears on her face that can stain. But you also get like basically eye boogers or, or gunk that builds up. Like you always have a natural build up of dirt that's washed out of the eyes. And so you will get tears and you will get a bit of gunk around the eyes. But I find that if you don't sort of trim and groom the hair between the eyes and on the bridge of the nose, you will find that her eyes or your dog's eyes will get irritated and you're more likely to have a lot more gunk building up. The other thing is, I think if you just keep this area free of hair and trimmed fairly neatly, it, it doesn't tend to build up as much. It's, I guess it's easier to clean off as well. So I typically use thinning shears now, or these thinning uh, scissors mainly just because they're a bit more forgiving. They don't chop all of the hair that's inside the, the blades of the scissors. It's, it's just a small percentage of the hair, so you get a cleaner cut. It's not so sharp, but as well the points on the scissors or the end of the scissors aren't as pointy, so you can never tell if the dog's going to move around and move its head quickly while you have the scissors close to their face or their eye. So I find it, it's just a tiny bit safer than like a standard pair of scissors. You can get scissors that have a very rounded tip, which would also be quite useful. But for me, I have the, the thinning shears and they seem to do a pretty good job. You just find you have to go over the same area a bit more but you'll end up with a fairly neat result even if you're like me and you're not a um, professional groomer you can still get quite good results. Wookie often likes to um, sort of rub the face on the ground I guess it's hard to do with her, her paws so she, she um, we can catch her quite often rubbing her face on the carpet inside the house and I think when she does that it pushes the hair into her eyes a little bit more. Um, I guess it feels good but in the end it just ends up with the hair touching the eyes and irritating the eyes which leads to that gunk build up and, and lots of tears. I also typically clean a bit of the hair off around the top of the eyelid. You have to be very careful that you don't catch the eyelid, that would be pretty horrible for the dog. So I take my time when I'm doing this bit, but I always take just a little bit off just at the top of the eyelash sort of area, because that hair can sometimes um, curl down as well into the eye. So that's basically it. I just try to keep the hair away from the eyes, especially just in between the, the eyes on the top of the nose and just directly under the, the eye in the corner on the nose sort of area. The, the side of the eyes closest to the ears, that hair I leave long because it tends to naturally just, it, it flows and drapes away from from the eyes whereas for some reason on the bridge of the nose, with Wookie at least, it, it tends to curl up and sort of touch and irritate the eyes. Mm -hmm.